And then if you just tune in halfway through the video, you're like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> There's some bald guy and he's frantically, frantically rubbing a dead penguin's nose. It's not dead, it's a toy. It wasn't alive to begin with. So I'm the board, a hole here, and we are going to have a good time tonight. So good. All right. Now, this kind of came about by just seeing the amount of people that are trying to avoid cardio when it comes to losing fat and burning weight and trying to get rid of those terrible, terrible calories that are sneaking up in the night and somehow just jumping into your mouth and making you fat. There are so many people say you haven't got to go on a treadmill, you don't have to go on a cross trainer, you don't have to go boxing, or whatever the hell you want to do. You can try and just sit there and stick your finger up your ass. And if you turn at a 45 degree angle, all of a sudden you're going to lose a bunch of weight because you managed to activate the secret fat melting gland which of course doesn't exist. Also, don't put your finger up your ass. So yeah, to try and actually tie down on that and explain it all, here's seven ridiculous ways that you can lose weight. Number seven is laughing. Now this is based on a university study and I'm always gonna get my catchphrase in there. You can find a study for whatever you want, right? You can find ones for, you can find ones against. But the one I found did say, if you try and laugh 10 to 20 minutes a day, so <laughs> there you go, I've just done it, you will burn around about 40 calories. I don't know how the hell you worked this out. What I'm gonna assume they did, well, I know they did this, is they got a bunch of people and they had them laugh properly for 10 to 20 minutes and then they got all the numbers they average it up they got the mean number and bada bing bada boom here we are now the reason they think this happens is because when you do have a good old chuckle your heart rate increases by about 10 to 20 percent and that has a direct impact on your metabolism which does speed up a little bit but i mean come on now 40 calories and this is the problem because you will read people saying oh man you just gotta laugh loads and you'll burn weight but they don't actually tell you how much weight and how much fat you're going to burn 40 calories you could burn 40 calories by going outside and having a two minute walk or probably just going up the stairs four or five times, whatever the hell that it may be. So always make sure you're being careful when you stumble into these kind of crazy facts. But if you are trying to live a more positive life and you are trying to be ha ha he he, or you go to a really funny comedy movie and you laugh your ass through it, then sure, maybe you burn around about 65 calories. Although I know what you've already done when you've gone to the cinema. You've eaten popcorn and you've eaten snacks. You've eaten goobers. Don't know what goober is, but always looks and sounds really nice. So you put it back on her anyway. Don't use laughing as a sort of weight loss. Number six is having muscles. So this is all based on science and numbers, although again, it's gonna be completely different for you as it may be for someone else. But the standard is, for every pound of muscle you do indeed put on your physique, you are going to increase your basal metabolic rate by around about 50 calories a day. And this is mostly due to the fact that lean muscle does indeed burn around about 12 times as much as fat does. And of course, this then ties into the other thing that I'm sure you've heard when people go, oh my gosh, when you do heavy weight training, you break down your muscle, you're burning calories when you're just sat there, because of course your body goes to work and it tries to sew your muscle back up for lack of a better term and that is true but once again we are talking minimum figures here now of course it's better to have more muscle on your body as opposed to fat for reasons i don't even need to explain to you but there are also internal reasons which make it doubly as good but that doesn't mean all of a sudden you have to make that the be all the end or go right that's how i'm going to lose weight these are all additional things these are all supplementary things that you need to put on top of having a good diet and of course dun 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 doing cardiovascular activity the reason you want to aim for this one is because you're basically taking your physique and you're making it as optimal as possible. If you look good and you feel good and you know that this is happening sort of beneath the surface, then sure, you are going to be heading in a better direction than you would have done otherwise. But as we're going through these points, laughing would get like a D minus on the fat burning scale, whereas having muscle would only probably move up to about a C plus. Actually, no, I take it back. Laughing has to be a fail, an F. You've ruined it. But we only move up to a C plus with having muscle because, again, it's not that you should try and warp this into existence what does that mean but bring this into existence because you think it's going to help you burn fat when really you can just go out there and start nailing some fat number five is fidgeting so this one is based on an iowa state study and they did get a bunch of people and they had them fidget throughout the day so they stood up they sat down i guess when a video was editing or, or exporting they would go and walk around they touch their head they go Bleh, you know whatever the hell that you want to do and they found out on average if you were more of a fidgeter than somebody who was not a fidgeter you burn upwards of around 300 calories per day but you know who they compared this to they compared it to people who were just sat like I'm saying now. So if I spent my entire day just doing this and barely even moving my mouth and probably not even using the energy that you need to record a video, I'm probably going to burn one calorie just because I existed. So sure, if you then compare me to Fidget E. McGee over here who's running around and doing 100,000 things, then that probably sounds like a good idea. But you are getting up and moving around. Never forget, if you walk to your kitchen to get a glass of water, you are burning calories. If you go up the stairs, you're burning calories. If you go out to get your mail, you're burning calories. All these things do add up. So essentially, all this study has told you is that activities and moving and not sitting on your ass will burn more calories but you see how frustrating how silly it is when then it gets tied into oh my gosh do you want to hear this secret way to lose fat fidget 
Fidget, to me doing this, just like, t is that even fidget? I don't know. Fidget is more like this. I just rubble Gerald the fitness mascot's nose all the time. And then if you just tune in halfway through the video, you're like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> There's some bald guy and he's frantically, frantically rubbing a dead penguin's nose. It's not dead, it's a toy. It wasn't alive to begin with. Number four is staying cool. Nice and simple, this one. And again, all based on studies and you should be able to work this out. Your body has to use more energy to warm you up than it does to cool you down. So it's basically like burning an internal fire. So when you are freezing, because you're in the Antarctic or something, because you went on an expedition, and what the hell did you do that for? Or you're just chilling out quite literally in an igloo, your body will be pushing and pushing and pushing because it wants to get you to the optimum temperature. Whereas when you're warm, it kind of just goes, whatever, man, I'm just going to sweat. <laughs> That's what I'm going to try and do in order to get you back to the temperature I'd like you to be. I'm going to sweat. But do you want to start living in an environment when you get cold <laughs> all the time? Is that the life you want? Now, look, it's the life that I want because it's only moderately warm today and I absolutely hate it. I'm a cold-blooded man and I like it to be freezing at all times. But the problem with this is that it then ties into that fat freezing belt that we've talked about. Now admittedly that was talking about other science but it's all based in the same stuff. It's all round about the houses. How the hell are we going to circumvent actually trying to put the effort in? If anyone ever told me, I would actually mind it if they were doing it supplementary again but if anyone told me their main reason, like, what do you do for cardio? Oh, I do treadmill. I do cross training. What do you do? I go stand in my freezer. That person's not my friend anymore. In fact I'm never talking to them again. Again. Number three is eating. So I don't mean everything. I'm not imploring you to run out and start shoving everything in your gut because you think, oh, I'm actually burning calories. Of course that you're not. But sure, there are some spicy foods like cayenne peppers, which will, of course, increase your metabolism. And then there is a chance, depending on what's going on inside, that you will burn some calories. You're mostly just freaking your body out. What's far more interesting, though, is that when you eat things like protein and fiber, your body actually finds that harder to break down than it would other substances. So, of course, once again, you're turning it on and you're making it work harder. And when you're working harder, you're burning up calories calories are just fuel. So you basically need more energy to digest protein and fiber. But once again, we are talking minimal, minimal numbers. Now, I don't know what that number is going to be because it's all going to depend on how much protein and fiber you've eaten. And it's going to depend on your own body. This actually does go into some people's training plans. Like, this is why we're eating protein and fiber. I don't think that's the reason you should be eating protein and fiber. You should be eating fiber because it fills you up. I mean, there's other reasons, but it fills you up. It's a great way you're not going to snack. And of course, you should be eating protein because it's building the foundation blocks that you need in order to become a big jacked horse. If you want to burn fat, you're just going going to have to eat well and you are going to have to do cardio. I'm going to keep hitting you over the head with this because people are still always looking for a way out. Number two is caffeine. So I'm always ragging on caffeine on my other videos because me and it just do not get on. So I thought I'd be nice for it for a while. And yes, caffeine increases your metabolism. Plus, it does give you more energy, which means you're more likely to be more active and therefore you're going to be burning more calories like we've already said. That's it. That's all I've got about coffee. I don't want to once again say it's only going to be a minimum amount like fitness ASMR that would be. How would that work? Oh, do you want some coffee? You love the coffee it makes you feel good. I'm going to stop doing this. Number one is drinking water or drinking enough of it. Because most people in this world of ours that aren't going to the fitness palace of love without even knowing it are dehydrated. And the reason you want to make sure that you get your optimum water intake in is because when you are dehydrated, you're basically pushing your body down to like a minus four. Let's say we start at zero. And if you're super duper hydrated, you go up to two and three. If you're dehydrated, you do start going into those negative numbers that admittedly I just made up. And that means all your other systems and all the other functions are slowly going to start shutting down or at least not operating in the way that you need them to. Even worse than that, just to rag on coffee again, which you knew was going to happen, coffee acts as a diuretic. So so many people have coffee as their main drink of choice. So they're pissing out all the water that they do need. They're not refilling their water stores, which they do need. And then they're sleepy and they're tired and they don't know what's going on. And it's because they just need to go drink a pint of damn water. So you've got to keep your body topped up. You've got to keep your body topped up so it's always outputting at 100% or whatever the hell it's going to be. Maybe not 100% because that is not realistic. But that's why you should drink water because we are water we're made up of water and i know there's people out there going, i don't like the taste of water what do you mean do you like the taste of air do you go oh, ugh, it tastes absolutely disgusting no you don't water don't taste of nothing and if you really are struggling to put it down you just get those squash drops that have like three calories not even that like 0.2 of a calorie and drop them in you can flavor your water this is going to be okay hell if you could afford it you could buy some lovely tasting bcaas and then go oh man what am i drinking my water i'm completely my amino acid chains if that's what you want to do but drinking water should be right up there when we're talking about getting in shape because honestly so many people don't go ask a random person today that you know not on the street or a stranger that's strange how much water do you drink and i bet you will be surprised so boom there you go a bunch of 
weird ways to lose weight and to burn calories. Don't do any of them unless they happen by nature. That's the best way. And please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. There's a video right there on the screen. Give it a click, click the notification bell so you do know what other videos are going live. The Power 13 cookbook is out now. Sustainable diet. Use the code Simon15. Link in the description. Get 15% off. Brand new merchandise and old merchandise at simon.bigcartel.com. On Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 if you want to support me there and get rewards. Otherwise, you take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.